Hello, my name is uh, Savchenko Katrina, and today we are going to talk about investigation of the uh, full renal solution parameters by combined technique based on light scattering. We are from uh, Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnical University, from a laser photometer and spectro spectroscopy laboratory. So. In the recent years, research have attracted a great attention to the field of nanotechnologies, so it continues to develop rapidly, making progress in various scientific fields. Nanoparticles are widely used in many areas of lives, in micro- and optoelectronic, as well as in medicine and cosmetology. Knowledge of the parameters of such nanoparticles make it possible to control the process of interaction between nanoparticles which allows such colloid system to be uh, effectively used as the main elements of various complex structures. Fullerenols uh, take a special uh, place in the rel relatively small group of water-soluble uh, der derivatives uh, of fullerenols, which belong to the class of allotropic modification of carbon atoms. Uh, the system uh, consisting of a fullerenol molecule due to the uh, hydration shell surrounding this molecule is a strong hydrophilic supramolecular uh, complex. Uh, in this uh, picture you can see a structure of fullerenol molecule due to its high binding and aggregation ability Fullerenol is frequently used as a carrier in a new drug delivery systems. It uh, also can be effective tool to prevent the formation of a new uh, viral particles in the body of people infected with a human immunodeficiency versus. So, in addition, fullerenols are powerful. Um, anti uh, accidents because they have an electron uh, deficiency of molecules and can trap free radicals uh, so at uh, the moment the study of the physical parameters of neuronal particles such as size electrophoretic mobility and zeta potential is one of the uh, most uh, prior priority task um, the most widely used method for measuring uh, the physical parameters of molecules in liquid solutions are based on registration of light scattering. Uh, in this work, to study the parameters of fullerenol particles, the method of dynamic light scattering was chosen. This method all allows uh, one to compose a reliable picture of the distribution of the studied particles by size and relative mobility and the potential, which has uh, advantages as speed, small required amount of the sample, and low uh, control voltage. Uh, this technique is based on the measuring the correlation function of the intensity fluctuation of the scattering like. You can see the um, approximated uh, on the autocorrelation function. So, uh, using this uh, autocorrelation function, we can uh, calculate uh, different parameters like uh, uh, tra translation diffusion coefficients and uh, um, electrophoretic mobility, size distributions. So, uh, in this slide, you can see the um, formula for electrophoretic mobility, uh, which can calculate from uh, after correlation function uh, as um, uh, at the you know of the uh, delta t is the oscillation period per root of the correlation function and the value of which can be found from the obtained experimental dependencies of the correlation function. Also, uh, the electrophoretic mobility of the particles is also calculated as the zeta potential using the Smolakovsky theory and taking into account the introduction of correction of the thickness of the double electric layer. In this slide, you can see also the formula for zeta potential calculation. 
uh, so in our uh, in our study uh, to, de to determine the parameters of the particles uh, we use the following experimental setup uh, the main structural elements shown in this uh, figure uh, so the signal um, from uh, LST converter uh, is transmitted to a computer for processing. Uh, the laser radiation source is used for, uh, as uh, sources uh, of light and uh, uh, the setup uh, we also used uh, in the setup we also used a diaphragm, a beam splitting cube and a mirror for guiding the reflected beam. Uh, so, uh, the following measurements algorithm was used to calculate the parameters of polyrenal. At the first step, uh, the solution was prepared with the concentration necessary to um, comply with the condition of the Gaussian scattering statistics and the single scattering condition. The laser beam was directed to a beam splitting cube to create a heterogeneous observation point. Uh, the result in, in, in transference pattern was recorded by the photodetector at angles with a small degree. The, the laboratory stand was connected to a computer and the program was launched to record and process the slides, scattering signals, the data necessary for the measurements, the duration of the measurements, par parameters, electric field strengths were entered into the computer program. The signal uh, recorded and uh, Subsequent calculation of the time of the correlation functions were performed and the received data were processed and analyzed. Uh, so, the samples of the um, our object of study in the experiment uniform external electric field with the um, value of uh, 0 and uh, 15 uh, volt per centimeter strength was applied to the sample under study. The polarity of the electric field was resolved between runs to reduce accumulation of particles and electrochemical effects. The sample studied in this work were bulk solution of the fluorinol in different concentration. So in this slide you can see fluorinol um, spectral um, of in the test solutions. Uh, so the from this figure, you can see that uh, uh, fluorinol has a high absorb uh, absorbance in the ultraviolet diapason and low absorbance in the uh, in diapason from 400 to 700 nanometer spectral region. Uh, it uh, determines our choice of laser light source wavelengths. In the study, we chose the semiconductor laser with. Uh, Wavelengths uh, equal 650 nanometers for the dynamic light scattering measurements. Uh, measurements. From uh, this figure, you can see the obtained of the correlation function with the applied electric field with strength equal to 0 volt per centimeters and 5 um, volt per centimeters for fluorinol solution with different concentrations. Uh, in this electric field with uh, zero strength, the optocorrelation function has an exponential decay and uh, the field with 5 over of per centimeter strength is a damping causing curve, the period of which is proportional to the electrophoretic mobility. Dilution of fluorinol with water provides a more stable picture of the particles' motions that rise reflected by the autocorrelation function. Um, so, its period becomes more clearly visible. Therefore, it is the most effective to use a slightly diluted solution of fluorinol under the influence of the electric fields with a small control voltage. Um, the obtained parameters you can see on this picture. So, mm, the main conclusions uh, of our study. Uh, the experimental setup was developed and assembled uh, 
for dynamic like scattering measurements, the heterogeneous, the heterogeneous setup was realized. Conventional used um, ABM spli splitter and uh, um, to obtain uh, experiment data, the measurement algorithm was developed. The results obtained indicate the applicability of, the, of this technique. Technique and according to the potential, it can be concluded that the polynomial solution is not stable in time and prone to coagulation. Uh, the results obtained can be main or one of the experiments on the binding of fullerenes uh, with various organic and inorganic substances for further medical purposes. Uh, thank you for your attention.